Kalisha and working in a healthcare company and based in Germany. In last videos, we saw what the regulatory procedure for drug device combination products in EU is. What is notify body? How and where can we find these notify body and how to contact them and submit your technical documentation and so on. In today's video, we will discuss what happens after we submit our technical documentation to the notify body. So let's start. As you can see in this figure, if your product falls under the medical device, apart from technical documentation review, notify body also do the auditing of your facility, the quality system auditing and so on. And even after this initial auditing, they also do surveillance auditing so that you can renew your certification going forward. But if we take an example of products like PFS, where the product will be handled under the medicinal product regulation, the notify body usually do not do the auditing of facility. They issue the notify body opinion based on the review of your technical documentation that you provide to them. And this is what I have explained in this figure. You must be thinking what is this technical documentation? The technical documentation is nothing but like the dossier that we submit to health authority, right? Similarly, the technical documentation is the dossier that we use for medical device and submit it to the notify body for their assessment. This includes all the relevant information related to your device. Notify body perform the review of this technical documentation. Now, the next question is how much time does it take for notify body to review your technical technical documentation. There are two ways. Either you go for standard review or you go for accelerated review. If they have any questions, they will send you questions and you will be given certain time to respond. These query response timelines are not like EMA, MA timelines, right? Where you have fixed dates or fixed timelines for your response and reviews. It is not the case with notify body question and answer rounds. In case of standard review, it generally takes six months while in case of accelerated review, it generally takes two months. These are the general timelines. The accelerated review is faster as they squeeze their timeline, but at the same time, response time timeline will also be shortened in this case, meaning you need to be very much faster during question and answer round as they have squeezed 6 months just into 2 months, right? But this timeline of 2 to 6 months can vary depending on the workload and resources of the notify body. Right now, notify bodies are really very much overloaded due to new regulations, so they are taking more time for their review. So after your question and answer round, finally they will provide you their opinion. If your product is coming compliant, not compliant or partially compliant. This opinion is provided in form of a report which lists for which requirement your product is compliant to MDR and for which requirement it is not. There can also be possibility that for some requirement your product is partially compliant, right? So in that case also notify body will provide their opinion in the same report. You then attach this notify body opinion report in your MA application and then you submit this to health authority after which the normal MA cycle starts from EMA. So this was all about getting the notify body opinion for your product in EU. But before we end this video, do you know what are the criteria for the selection of notify body? If you know the answer, then let me know in the comment section. If not, then don't worry. We'll discuss that in one of the next upcoming videos. Till then.